Welcome to the Cas Corner. Welcome back to the Cas Corner. I am on my way to run my second 5K of this year. Uh, this one is called the Chris Hope 5K. And uh, it starts downtown. So I just decided to park at my job and walk. You know, it's about a mile away. Nice little warm up. We don't start till eight o'clock. So I'll be, uh, I'll be talking to you uh, throughout the race. So I hope you're having a good morning. Let's get to it. Chris just told us if you if we're out here we need to put on our mask which I definitely have mine on so we're walking up to where we're just about people are getting their bibs and whatnot it's just so beautiful out here this is uh, on Court Street, Court Avenue, actually, downtown. There's a start line right there. And we're gonna be going this way, I believe. In about 15 minutes. So we're right at about 15 minutes before we start. People still walking up. There's really not a lot of people out here, which is good, you know, for social distancing. Uh, Chris did a good job. He capped it at 400, but I really don't think there's 400 people out here. Actually, I don't think there's like even 100. Uh, there may be more showing up. We still got about, like I said, 15, 10, 15 minutes before to start. Just enjoying the scenery out here. Coming up on my one. And as usual, it's really hard for me to breathe on these races. In the beginning, we're gonna make it work. Today, coming up on my one. Let's get to it. Coming up on mile two. We're almost done with this Chris Hope 5K on this beautiful Saturday morning. It's a beautiful day out here on Riverside. I really wish, I really wish every day could be like this. It's a beautiful day to run. It's a beautiful day to race. Coming up on mile three and the finish line. And it's strong. Oh wow, what a wonderful race. And I got some sneak of ours. I didn't get the time that I wanted, but it was just all about having fun today and accomplishing another race, another 5K. What a wonderful day to race. I'm ready to do it again next weekend. 